Hello, this is uh, my InMove robot being constructed, as you can see. This is the mid uh, stomach section. That's the two motors at the bottom, so rock and roll back to left and right, as you can see here. It's going to operate this section. These are Hobby King 15338 motors that I've modified as per the videos on the internet. Um, I brought out the potentiometer out of one of these ones. On these cables here, just using these extender cables, I've joined the two motors together. Let's get it into frame so you can see what we're doing there. So this motor has been modified in that the potentiometer has been taken out. This motor has been totally modified, and all the innards have been removed, so it's got no servo board. And these are going to work together. So we parallel the two motors. So the motor out of that one is just joined with these cables and I'm using these simple little connectors which make life a lot easier. So once that's wired up, I'll add this connector here to the uh, um, InMove board. Hopefully these will work together. Now I haven't actually tested this yet so that's a future thing. That's the section in between which will mount to the lower part of the body and it'll go on there and it'll rotate later on. This section goes on the top here and we'll move left to right. And what we'll do, just have a quick look inside. There's a better view of that if you want. That's been filed down ready for ball bearings. It's all tested. It's not glued at all at the moment. And as I say, that's the, the lower section, but we'll look at that in a second. That's, the, uh, that's all ready to go as well. Those motors have been modified as well, but we'll look at them in a minute. This isn't glued at all yet. It'll actually come apart. Let me just undo that a little bit. You can see the ball bearings inside there. And you can also, without that on, see the position where the pot will go. That'll sit in there. And as that rotates, you can see the gearing inside, just inside there. And a little point that the pot slots into inside. So that'll give the pot positional information. They're the bits that, uh, they're the, the top ends of the, the drive drivers. And they will just basically rotate on these bearings, but I haven't put any silicon in there or anything. So it's it's a dry connection. You can get slightly uh, a bit of a noise, but I might file that down a little bit more. We'll see. Let's put this back together again. Uh, screw it in. As I was saying, I haven't glued any of this, but I was looking at um, Tom Salinger's 3D printing website, and he says you can use um, you can use if I've got it here, which I don't have it to hand. So different types of glue. Hold on, we'll find out that type of glue. Which would be acetone, which I was always told you could only use on ABS plastic, but apparently you can use it on PLA. This is in PLA. Uh, isopropyl cleaning stuff there, just to clean the printer. But that's what I'm going to try and 
glue it all together with in a minute, but not on this video. But what we will do, take that out. I'll just leave that in there for a second. Assemble this. Just to get it to bite in there, if I can get it to sit in there. There it goes, that one's in. Turn it around on that side. That's in, no, it's not. There it is, like this. Seat that down a bit more. If I just pull that in. sat in there so you can see it should well I've powered it up move left and right that will do so I'm going to do in a minute with an Arduino little sketch that uh, Gail from the uh, InMove project have provided which is really good so that's what that's going to do this section is the lower stomach we might call it mid stomach actually it is the uh, mid stomach this is mid stomach This section is, is the upper stomach, the lower stomach doesn't exist. So this is a similar idea, but this is with two motors again. This is actually using the um, Hobby King, if you can see them, H805BBs, which is the ones I've always used elsewhere. I've just tried these other ones, which are half the price almost, the, uh, the Hobby, Hobby King. These are Hitech ones, sorry, the Hobby Kings are nearly half the price, so that's looking good. I'll try them if they work. Again, on this one, the pot's been taken out. These are plastic pots, whereas the Hobby King ones are metal pots. So again, the Hobby Kings are looking slightly better. But um, they're the plastic pots. That's been taken out of there and the uh, rotation lug has been cut off on those. Same with on these ones. Again, there's videos on the internet. This one's had all the, uh, the, the um, card taken out, so it's got no control card and in this case, the positive is parallel to the, is taken to the negative and the negative to the positive. So these will work uh, counter counter rotation. So if that's going clockwise, that will go anti clockwise. Uh, that's the idea, anyway. And um, you can just see. I really need to power this up, but you can just see if that is turning. 